here's the tent I'll be sleeping in. Let's take a look inside. This is my sleeping bag. It's made by Van Gogh. Underneath this is an inflatable mat. That's the valve on the end there. When you open it, it should self-inflate. This is the um, Primus ETA Power multi-fuel stove. Um, it comes with a frying pan, a measuring cylinder, a cooking pot, a multi-fuel um, container that you can put liquid fuel, all kinds of things in there, and you just use the pump to pump it through. This is the bike. The frame is made from steel, which means should it crack whilst on the journey, it can be welded back together in most of the places that I'll visit. The panniers attach to the front and the back of the bike. A small bag will go on top of the front rack and the sleeping bag and the tent will go on top of the back. The panniers will carry my food, clothes and equipment and are waterproof so we'll keep everything dry. They open up nice and easy, just unhook, unravel and you can have a look inside there. Close the bag like this, roll it down, keep it nice and waterproofed, clip it in, and then tighten nice and easy. On the front of the bike down here, I've had a dynamo put inside the middle of the wheel, which charges the light that I have on the front of the bike here so that I can ride safely at night. When I'm riding during the day, if I don't need to charge the light up, I can plug in a little lead here that has a USB on the end of it, and I can charge some of my devices like my GoPro, uh, my camera, um, my iPad, and, and so on through this little lead as I pedal. The gears on the bike are very, very simple. Uh, it's one of the most basic setups that you can get on bikes, which means that should anything go wrong, it's just a simple case of unscrewing it here and feeding the wires back through itself. The brakes on the bike here are just simple brake pads you get in most parts of the world, so it will be easier to replace them should I need to on the journey. I'll be taking my GoPro Hero 5 and my Samsung S7 Edge to take care of all the photos and videos that I take. The RAV Power device lets you transfer all kinds of files from micro SD cards directly to an external hard drive that you plug into the device as well as the micro SD cards. Not forgetting the toiletries, soap, Vaseline, pseudocreme, deodorant, toothbrushes. I'm sure there's something else. These clothes have to last me 12 months. I have a pair of running leggings, a pair of zip-off trousers, a waterproof jacket, waterproof over trousers, a jumper, a long sleeve insect repellent top, a down jacket, two cycle jerseys, a base layer t-shirt, two long sleeve base layers, zip-off leggings, two pairs of cycle shorts, a pair of swimming shorts, a hat, a pair of trial shoes, three pairs of socks, two pairs of boxes, three gloves and a scarf. As well as this, I've had to buy a new sleeping bag, which is more compact, a GPS tracking device, a first aid kit and a travel towel. And to top it all off, I've got a month's supply of breakfast from Fuel 10K and a month's supply of protein, energy and trail mix bars from Tribe. This video is not an endorsement, nor have I been paid to show you any of the products that are featured in it. They've been chosen because they're within my budget and I think they'll be best suited to my kind of journey. Visit the link in the description below to donate to these amazing causes. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to follow me as I cycle around the world. And come see me off on the 1st of April at 9am Trafalgar Square. Thanks very much.